Hey guys, Bell Trex Pencil here, and thank you for joining me for yet another Let's Play with Ava Holland. Um, this is part eight, and here we go. Story of my freaking life. I was recording this Let's Play, and I was talking into my microphone the entire time, as one does when they want to record themselves talking. And <laughs> my mic was turned off for the entire time I was recording, and I did not realize. So, the timing is going to be a little off um, for this recording, and I apologize. Normally, I'd try to just, like, re-record or something, but stuff happened that I just can't re-record. So, unfortunately, you're going to be left with a very, very awkward voiceover. Um, Alright, so, if we remember where we left off, um, Ava had gone to work, and Caitlin invited Ray over, and we saw him, uh, saw her leading him over to um, her bedroom, um, and that's just where we ended ended things off. Um, so now Ava is back from work, and um, I will zoom in on her face at some point soon because the expression she has on is just freaking hilarious. Um, but after that, we'll get playing, and she'll get into the house and we're gonna have a little conversation with Caitlin which of course does not go according to my own plans because well why would it <laughs> um anyways here we go zooming in on her face it's a beautiful beautiful expression and um of course I'm take a screenshot of it because it's just it's an expression that I want to remember um she seems to be tense from work and really really needs a day off um, and she might get a couple days off sooner than she thinks, sooner than she expects. Um, yeah. Alright. Can we play? Okay, can I hit a play? Yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, so, Ava's just gonna head in and go pee. Um, Caitlin's just in the corner there, painting away. You know, trying to sell a painting so she can make money. Um, yeah. Alright, so... I'm slowly getting used to the colors of this renovation, and I'm, like, liking it more than I did before. Um, though it's still really, really not Ava's style. Um, I love how that toilet has the flush, like, a flush button on the very top of it, but she still, Ava still, like, did the movements that you would, um, when, like, you have a le lever on the side to flush. Anyways. Um... Here we go. I'm trying to get her to socialize with Caitlin. I wanted her to, like, you know, kiss her hello. Um, and, and as always, my mouse decides that it just does not want to work. Because, well, why would it, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so there we go. More choices. Romance. More choices again. And kiss. There we go. So, um... For anyone who is just watching this episode and didn't want to watch the other ones, um, Ava's our main character. Caitlin is her current girlfriend, and she has been sleeping around a lot. And last episode, they moved in together, and they renovated Ava's place, uh, made it bigger and more feminine uh, to be more like Caitlin's style. Um, yeah. All right, so sorry. I'm just I'm editing the video as I'm talking over it, so it's just gonna be like a couple of awkward pauses here and there. Um, yeah. So they're just talking, and I wanted there to be a shocking realization for Ava, but it just wasn't happening. Um, so as you guys might notice, um, we're gonna get a good view of it soon. Caitlin has a baby bump. Um, because when she invited Ray over, we used the try for a baby, um, option, which of course doesn't always work, but I just wanted it to be sort of like a, an accidental pregnancy, like something that might happen in real life. Um, and I wanted Ava to be shocked and be like, oh my god, you know, Caitlin is cheating on me. Um, sort of a moment, right? And that just did not happen. I even made, like, Caitlin do the share the big news because apparently you can't know a sim is pregnant until they share the big news even though that like baby belly is very obvious um so yeah let's just see what happens there come on click it click it 
Um, yeah. This is going to be a bit of an awkward voiceover. I apologize. Because, um, like I said, I'm editing while I'm doing this. And also, it's just it's not live recorded. So, um, yeah. So, unfortunately... Okay, like, I was really excited, you know? Ava looked like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the hell, right? But then she's happy about it. <laughs> she's happy that there's going to be a new family member. Um, which was not exactly the plan. Because, you know, Caitlin cheated on her. You know, Kate. So, I mean... That happened. <laughs> um, so, at this point, I'm like, well... Because there's only one way to achieve what I want to achieve. Romance? Why am I in romance? What the heck was I trying to do here? Like, I don't know why I was in romance. Because I know what it is that I want to do and what I was doing. Um, I'm judging myself so hard right now. What am I doing right now? I'm so confused. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Am I gonna do it? I, I actually... I think I made her yell at Caitlyn just now. Oh no, give the cold shoulder, right? Cause in my head, and how this is supposed to go, is Ava's super upset with Caitlyn. She just had her heart broken. Um, yeah, and for a second there, I confused this family with another family and I thought that like the um relationship bar went way 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 more down than it actually had because I, I have this family where like they're both the bars are completely filled up and I thought that was them for a second so I was like oh my god anyways <laughs> so Ava is breaking up with Caitlin um you know I mean yes Caitlin is pregnant and Ava felt a little bit bad about that but she can't be with the cheater. She's like, no, you, you know, you broke my heart. Um, so she's breaking up with, with Caitlin. Um, and they're both very sad about it because, well, you know, Ava, this was her first love. Um, and with Caitlin, well, not that she admits it, but she was crazy into Ava. Um, so she now, both of them have the breakup blues. For 10 hours. Um, that's such a short amount of time. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, so now it's very, very awkward between them. They're still sweethearts, though, apparently. Uh, which seems a little weird, but... They're sweethearts. Um, they're broken up. And it's just very awkward. Um, especially considering the fact that they still live together. So... They just renovated. They just spent all of their money on expanding this place and buying new furniture. So, you know, realistically, um, Caitlin, she has absolutely no money to move out. Nor does Ava. Not that Ava would move out because this is, you know, it's her place. Um, so they will continue to um, live together for the, for, uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, I don't know what I was pressing there. <laughs> um, gosh, okay. This, like, live, this not live commentary is very, very awkward. Um, but yeah, anyways, so Caitlin, um, can't actually sleep in the same bed with Ava anymore, so she went to nap on the couch. Um, at this point I think I said something along the lines of, they're gonna be taking turns with the bed. Um, one night, Caitlin will sleep in the bed, and the other, it'll be Ava. Um, but I realize how much I hate the napping interaction sometimes, because then they wake up energized, and I don't know why I hate that mood so much, but I really, really hate the energized, like, emotion mood that they get. It just really bothers me. Um... Yeah, at this point I'm like, oh, whatever, screw it, Caitlin's awake, she needs to eat something, and she needs to pee, because she's pregnant, um, and that's just, that's all pregnant women do, right? All they do is pee and eat, right? No? Probably not. I'm being silly. Um, anyways, I'm trying to be funny, and I know that it's failing miserably, so, my bad. 
Um, yeah, at this point, I don't really know what to do with the Let's Play for the next little while. Because, I mean, it's just gonna be them, you know, having very awkward situations. Um, and, I mean, you know, Caitlin's pregnant. She's gonna be pregnant for several days. Um, Ava's gonna continue to go to work, and they're just not gonna really be talking much. And in my head, they're very upset, so they don't really want to go out and socialize with anyone. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward for a little while. Um, because I, I, I mean, I can't end this let's play. This is a seven minute let's play so far. Um, so I'm just gonna keep this uh, recording for a little bit. I'm going to fast forward through this. Um, I do uh, buy a bed, a second bed for, just a single bed for Caitlin to be able to sleep in. Um, mostly because I really, really did not want to sell the four poster bed. I really actually like that. Um, so I'm just, I buy another bed for Caitlin to sleep in and they spend the next couple of days saving money. You know, um, Ava goes to work and she makes her money and what happened to oh okay I'm in buy mode right now um yeah so Caitlin works on her paintings to go ahead and try to just make some money and save up some money so she can move out um you know Ava wants Caitlin out as well so she you know works and works very hard plus she, you know she just has to go to work but they don't really go out and socialize because they're heartbroken um yeah, and, you know, the other logical choice for Caitlin would be to try and move in with Ray, but she can't, you know, no one knows, none of her others, significant others know that she's sleeping around, so she can't really, you know, go to Ray and be like, hey, um, I need a place to stay. I moved in with my girlfriend, and when she found out that I cheated on her, she broke up with me and kicked me out, you know, like... She can't really do that. Um, so, yeah. It's, you know, Ava doesn't really care if other people break up with Caitlyn, obviously. Um, but she doesn't want to kick out, she doesn't want to kick Caitlyn out when she's pregnant because, you know, she feels a little bit bad about that. Um, which kind of sucks for Ava. But, anyways, um, I'm going to fast forward to a slightly more interesting part of this Let's Play. Um, and hopefully it'll be at least 15 minutes long because, well, this is just, the, this one and the one before I just have just been really, really short. Um, yeah. Anyways, I will talk to you guys after the fast forward. Alright, so I fast forwarded through a couple of days. Kaylin is in her third trimester. And I started recording again to complain about the fact that she had not given birth because she's been in her third trimester for like two whole days by this point. And it just seemed like it was getting a little bit ridiculous. Like, I was looking at the stomach and I'm like, god damn, this baby's just gonna like explode out of her stomach at any moment. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's uh, 5 p.m. or almost 6 p.m. And... She's just, we're just filling up her needs right now because, I don't know, I have this idea that, like, your sim needs to have, like, really, really great needs to give birth, like, the healthiest possible sim baby or something. I, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but, I mean, it was in previous versions. Um, anyways, and there we go. caitlin has gone into labor just as I had, like, just as I was recording to complain the fact about, about the fact that she had not, like exploded with babyness um yeah uh <laughs> anyways um you know you don't have to like freak out about it right the second so i was just getting the rest of her needs up um just you know because she needed it <laughs> i don't know if she needed it but you know it's just better anyways and there we go ava's like freaking out she's like oh my god oh my god um, anyways, and then that I was fast forwarding between Ava's job and Caitlin's painting, um, they were able to make 5,299 simoleons, or well, get their total of simoleons up to that. Um, 
yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I bought a little. Uh, I sold the bed. I bought a bassinet so that Caitlin c could give birth um, at home. Because I mean, it, going to the hospital and having the baby born at home doesn't really make a difference, or at least I don't think so. It's just it's just super time consuming to have the baby at a hospital. Um, so yeah, all you really need to have the baby at home is just to buy a bassinet. So. I just went with it. Um, so there we are. She's off to give birth. Um, Ava's in the bathroom, probably freaking out and not wanting to watch this um, this entire experience. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna wait until the little bundle of joy comes out of her. Um, there we go. Congratulations! It's a boy. Um, so I go ahead and change the last name to Wilson, which is the name of, um, of the dad. You know, his name is Ray Wilson, so even though Caitlin and her aren't married, I just changed it to Wilson. Um, yeah, just gonna... I type faster than that, there's just, this program seems to be a little slow. <laughs> um, and first name, I did, like, I randomized it, but I ended up choosing a name myself. Um... I'm really bad at usually coming up with the names, but I have been watching a whole lot of Supernatural lately, um, so I just decided to go ahead and type the name Dean um, from Supernatural. Uh, you know, if she has another boy at any point, they'll probably name it Sam, just for the heck of it. Even a girl, actually. Sam works either way. Um, yeah. Anyways, there you go. You got a little adorable little baby boy. Um, just sleeping in the little bassinet. Um, and no, obviously I didn't know what sex was going to be when I bought the bassinet with the blue ribbon. I just did not want there to be more pink in there. And I don't really like the yellow and the green bassinets. So, I went with the blue. <laughs> um, yeah, so here we go. Ava is going to go see the baby. Cuddle it a little bit. Cuddle it a little bit. Cuddle him. Anyways. Um. And I was going to make Caitlyn change into her everyday outfit so that she's not walking around in her underwear anymore. Um, yeah, so let's get them to do that, shall we? Um, Alright, well I'm just going to say it here, but then there's a l couple minutes left of the video. Um, words. Yes, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe so you know when my next video is up. Um, yeah, links to the links in the description below where you can download um, their family together. Um, you can download the three of them. Uh, you can also download the house, the original house, and this house now. Okay, so what happened here is I skipped a uh, video because I was trying to get Kaylin to do something um, but it just, it did not work, so I just sort of skipped the entirety of that, um, of what was being filmed there, uh, because I just, well, it was pointless for you guys to watch, honestly. Um, yeah, so anyways, here we go. Ava's gonna go bottle feed Dean, she's gonna go take care of the baby. Um, Caitlin has decided to go boxing for some unknown reason, um, She's just walking to the front, so she's walking out of the house as Ava is taking care of her baby. Um, and this is where I end my episode because Caitlin has saved up enough money and she's moving out, leaving her baby behind to be taken care of by Ava. So, in just a couple of days, Ava's life has been turned upside down. You know, she asked her girlfriend to move in, who she was madly in love with, found out that she'd been cheating on her, um, and now she has to raise her um, ex's baby by herself. Um, yeah, so you guys will also be able to download um, just Ava and the baby. Um, then you don't have to download Caitlyn, Ava, and the baby. So, yeah, um... I might give you guys a tour of Caitlin's apartment. She moved into an apartment. It's a really shitty, crappy little place. Um, maybe I get, I'll give you guys a small tour, but I don't know how big of a role she'll play in the rest of the episodes. Um, 
yeah anyway so like i said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye